Around 71% of our planet's surface is covered in water, with 620,000 kilometers of coastline. This means there's plenty of space for weird things to wash up on shore, and people around the globe have made some surprising discoveries. Get ready to see the amazing, the strange, and the downright horrific as we take a look at 15 unusual items washed up on beaches. Number 15, Harley Davidson, British Columbia. In April of 2012, Peter Mark was exploring a beach on Graham Island in British Columbia, Canada, on his ATV when he spotted something he'd never seen before. In front of him was a large white cube container that was just below the high tide mark with its back door missing, and he could see a motorcycle tire sticking out from it. He did what anyone would do in that situation and went to investigate more closely, and to his surprise, he found a Harley Davidson motorcycle inside although one that wasn't exactly looking its best after being subjected to the salt water in the ocean. Probably more amazing than the find itself was the story of how it had got there. The bike was registered in the Miyagi Prefecture of Japan, which had been struck by a tsunami more than a year earlier. At the time of its discovery, researchers believed there was as much as one and a half million tons of debris making its way across the ocean that had been swept into the water following the tragic event and it's not known how much there still may be out there that will one day make landfall. The fact that this motorbike washed up on a coastline around 3,100 miles from where it had started shows just how powerful the ocean currents are, and that things that have washed away to sea could potentially show up virtually anywhere. Number 14, Giant Pipes, Norfolk, United Kingdom. You can just imagine the surprise of locals in Norfolk, England in August of 2017 when walkers on the nearby beach found a series of huge pipes one morning. Made of plastic, the longest measured 1,570 feet long, and they were all around 8 feet in diameter. Large enough to drive a car through, residents were, of course, concerned about the impact of the environment and how to get rid of them. But there was a greater mystery of where these pipes had actually come from in the first place. There was no sign of any residue inside them, and to begin with, there wasn't anyone on site trying to manage the situation. It didn't take long before the pipe's owners came forward, however, and the truth behind the find was made public. The pipes had been manufactured in Norway and were being towed at sea to Algeria. The ships transporting them had been caught in an unexpected storm, and the tow cables snapped, which left the pipes to simply float in the water until they washed up on the beach. With warnings to stay clear just in case the pipes moved and crushed someone, they were refloated within a few days and were taken back to Norway to be fixed, before finally being delivered to the construction site they were originally headed for. Number 13. Dinosaur Femur, Washington the continents of the Earth have changed substantially since the time of the dinosaurs, which means things look very different to how they do today. That's particularly the case for large swaths of the Pacific coastline of the United States, which researchers believe was probably deep underneath water around 66 million years ago. This is one of the suggested reasons why very few dinosaur fossils have been found in that region, but that's not to say it's entirely unheard of. In 2015, paleontologists announced the discovery of the first dinosaur fossil to have ever been found in Washington State from a site at Susha Island State Park. Measuring 17 inches long and 8 inches wide, it's believed to have come from the thigh bone of a theropod, potentially of a species related to the T. rex. What's remarkable about the find, though, is that they're fairly certain the dinosaur would have died on land, but then its remains were washed out to sea where it underwent a significant level of erosion before being washed up again on the shoreline where it solidified within the rock, which is where the researchers found it. Number 12. Spaceship we're now sending more material into space than ever before, and while companies are working on ways to reuse their rockets to make things more affordable, there's no escaping the fact that spaceflight currently creates a lot of debris, most of which comes falling back to Earth. To prevent any serious injuries or damage, companies calculate the trajectory of discarded objects so that they'll land in the ocean, and from there they're normally expected to sink to the sea floor. This doesn't always go entirely to plan, however, and in 2015, three business executives who were on vacation in the Bahamas made a surprising find. On a small island called Elbow, they saw a large piece of metal on a beach and upon closer inspection, realized that it was a piece of fairing from a spacecraft. It even had a recorder attached to it and was clearly identifiable as being property of SpaceX. 
After contacting the company which arrived to collect the flight recorder, it turns out that the fairing had been part of the Falcon 9 rocket that had launched from Cape Canaveral. It is a piece of engineering that people rarely get a chance to see up close unless they're directly involved in the space industry. It's something that's a one in a billion chance to find on a beach. Number 11. Rubber Ducks Worldwide Have you ever been walking along a beach and seen a yellow rubber duck peeking out of the sand? If so, you could have well been looking at one of the remnants of a decades-old shipping accident. And if you haven't seen one, you should keep your eyes open, because they've been found all over the world. In 1992, a cargo ship called the Evergreen Ever Laurel was sailing across the Pacific Ocean between China and the U.S. when it was struck by such a powerful storm that parts of its consignment fell into the water. One of the containers was full of bath toys, which included 28,000 rubber ducks and frogs. And since then, they've been traveling the world's oceanic currents and making landfall in surprising places. From the shores of Australia and South Africa to the UK, the US, and even being discovered frozen within ice in the Arctic, some of the ducks traveled more than 17,000 miles before making landfall. It is, of course, an unfortunate story that highlights how pollution can spread across the connected oceans of the world, but there was at least some scientific benefit from the accident. By tracking the movement of the ducks, scientists have been able to understand better than ever how currents move around the globe. If you find a rubber duck, you'll be one of the many thousands who have done so in the past decade. But if you find one of the frogs, then you could be very fortunate, as they're much rarer. They've been known to sell online for hundreds of dollars to some collectors. Number 10. Snowballs, Siberia you might not be too surprised if in colder regions around the world you were to find some pieces of ice washing up against a beach. But in 2016, locals found some very unusual formations along the shoreline of the Gulf of Ob in northwest Siberia in Russia. An 11-mile-long stretch of the coast was covered in snowballs, which ranged in size between that of a tennis ball to as much as three feet in diameter. Almost looking as if someone had meticulously crafted each and every one of them, they're actually the result of a rare environmental process that needs very specific conditions to occur, and the people who live in the region had never seen anything like this before. The snowballs began as large pieces of sludge ice that had formed on the water's surface, and through the action of the wind and water were slowly eroded into spheres before being deposited onto the shoreline. It takes a very precise combination of temperature, weather conditions, and coastal layout that there's only a handful of places in the world where this is possible. And even then, it is a once-in-a-lifetime occurrence. Number 9. E.T. Portsmouth, United Kingdom it's one of the most successful science fiction movies of all time, and catapulted Steven Spielberg into Hollywood fame. But it seems that E.T., the cute but weirdly shaped extraterrestrial, is still surprising people more than 40 years after he first delighted audiences on the big screen. In 2012, a walker who was hiking along his usual coastal route near Portsmouth in the UK called the police when he saw what he believed to be the remains of a person in the sand. The authorities were soon on the scene, and while they approached the site with caution, they saw the funny side as they realized what they were looking at was actually a full-scale replica of the titular character. Missing a finger and looking worse for wear, what was possibly most surprising of all was that they knew where it had come from and were able to reunite the model with its proper owner. Four months earlier, a burglary had taken place at a house nearby when the 76-year-old owner was fast asleep. As well as a significant amount of jewelry and other valuable possessions that were stolen, the thieves also took the replica of the alien, which had been crafted by the owner's daughter as a part of a stage makeup course. As such a meaningful item, she was glad that the E.T. was returned to her, although no further evidence was found about who the culprits were or why they had changed their mind about keeping what they had taken. Number 8. Olympic Swimming Pool Platform, Brazil In 2016, Brazil became the first country in South America to host an Olympic Games. And while things mostly went to plan, it'll also be remembered for a series of almost comical blunders. You may remember the issues they had with algae growing in the swimming pool or a corrupt group of judges for the boxing competition. But it's possibly what happened in the lead-up to the swimming event that showed the poorest planning. The race is held in open water, and in Rio, the location chosen was off the coast of the world-famous Copacabana Beach. There had been concerns about the water quality competitors would face, but no one could have foreseen the biggest problem that would take place. 
A few days before the event, a storm struck the area, and it destroyed the pontoon platform that was meant to be where the race started from. The remains of the concrete structure washed up onto shore a while later and were irreparable, meaning that the swimmers had to start their race from the beach itself instead. Number 7. Robot Hand, Great Kills Park Beach, New York Sometimes people find things that almost defy belief, and still to this day a discovery made on the Great Kills Park Beach in Staten Island, New York, hasn't been explained. A magazine editor was taking an early morning stroll along the beach to collect images for an article on the debris that was washed up, but even they weren't prepared for what they were about to see. Nestled within a pile of branches and seaweed were the rusted remains of what appeared to be a robot hand. Since the image was first circulated, there have been a number of suggestions of what it could be, from a prototype prosthetic to a student's robotic project, but no one ever came forward to answer the mystery for sure. If you saw something like this in the sand, what would you think had happened? Could it be a sign of an impending robot takeover, or something far more down to earth? Number 6. Palm Oil, Hong Kong Human activity has caused a great deal of damage to our planet, and one of the things that we're just getting to grips with of how detrimental it is, is the production of palm oil. It's used in a variety of different products, and has seen large swaths of forest being cut down and replaced with palm trees, something that causes irreparable damage to local ecosystems. An event that took place in Hong Kong in 2017, however, showed that palm oil can be just as destructive after it's been harvested, and led to new laws about its production and transport. Residents woke up one August morning to find styrofoam-like clumps across a number of beaches, and the smell was enough to make you wretch. It was immediately classified as an environmental disaster, but it would take a few days before the full extent of the problem was revealed. Two cargo vessels had collided in the Pearl River estuary, and one was carrying hundreds of tons of the material, which were released into the water. In total, 13 different beaches had to be closed because of the danger to human health, and a huge cleanup operation had to be undertaken. On one beach on Lama Island, 110 bags of palm oil waste were collected, and in some places the residue was up to 4 inches thick. By the time the cleanup had ended, more than 100 tons had been removed from the coastline, but the long-term damage to fish stocks and the environment are yet to be fully understood. Number 5. Cigarettes, United Kingdom Quite often, you may walk along a beach and see something that's been washed ashore, and if you want to take it home with you, there wouldn't be too much of a problem. Authorities, however, are quick to act if material being washed up is either dangerous to health or valuable, and in 2014, locals in Dorset in the UK began finding objects that fulfill both of these criteria. The previous week, huge storms had ripped through the Bay of Biscay and caused havoc to shipping routes, which resulted in a number of containers falling overboard. Over the following days, the containers were pounded by the waves, which broke them open, and their contents were spread across beaches around Europe. The containers that released their load onto the Dorset coast, though, were filled with some of the most highly controlled products on Earth – cigarettes. A two-mile stretch of coastline was covered in packs that had been washed ashore, and once locals found out about this, they flocked to the beaches to try to collect them for themselves. They were soon met by a police presence, though, because of the volume of tobacco that had made landfall would have represented a huge tax value had it been sold through legal avenues. In just one day, officials removed more than 11 million cigarettes, with many more still lying in the sand. But rather than making their way to store shelves, they were instead incinerated. Number 4. Message in a Bottle, Wales the idea of sending a message in a bottle has been mentioned in countless works of literature and songs, but have you ever actually considered sending one of your own? Due to the vast distances they have to travel to reach anywhere, let alone the huge odds it would have to overcome for someone to find it, it almost seems like a futile endeavor to even attempt it, but sometimes it is worth it. In late August of 2021, Amanda Tidmarsh was walking her two dogs along the beach in Ogmoron Sea in Wales when she saw something glistening in the sand. Initially thinking it was simply a piece of broken glass that had washed up, she took a closer look and realized that it was, in fact, an intact wine bottle. Covered in seaweed, barnacles, and mussels, she could just about see that there was something inside. But rather than opening it immediately, she took it home so she could wait for her son before revealing the bottle's secret. After unsealing the bottle, she removed a rolled-up Ziploc bag that contained a note inside, and she was stunned by what it said. 
It had been written by a snow crab fisherman from Canada who had only thrown the bottle into the water the previous November and had included his email address so whoever found it could get in touch. Amazingly, the bottle made the 3,000 mile journey in just nine months and it wasn't the only one of his to be found. Another one was discovered just a few days later on a beach in County Kerry in Ireland, suggesting this may well be a much more reliable form of communication than you'd initially expect. Number 3. Human Hands – Siberia The snow-covered wilderness of Siberia likely conceals countless secrets, but in 2018 fishermen from the remote city of Khabarovsk in eastern Siberia made what's probably the most gruesome shoreline discovery ever. At a popular fishing spot on an island in the Amur River, just a few miles from the border with China, locals began finding severed human hands. Over a period of a few days, 54 were found, all of which, apart from one, were sealed in bags. As you can imagine, after the first report started to spread, a number of theories were put forward to explain their presence, from gang activity to a method of punishment or illegal organ traffickers. Eventually, though, Russian authorities revealed the truth behind where the hands had come from. And while they weren't part of a crime syndicate, it was equally as strange a reason. It's apparently common practice for morgues to remove the hands of unidentified corpses so they can be identified by their fingerprints at a later date. But on this occasion, the forensic laboratory that had them had, for an unknown reason, disposed of them in a very unusual way. Number 2. Dice Cube, Idaho in March of 2017, residents of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, were surprised to wake up to the sight of a giant red dice on the shore of the lake. Measuring around six feet along each edge and made of steel, it was soon the talk of the town, and people came from far and wide to see it and take photographs of it for themselves. With pipes emerging from one of its faces, it completely baffled everyone. Was it a piece from a giant board game or perhaps a work of art? Speculation ran rife as to its origins, and it was at that point that a resident came forward with the truth. He was the owner of a property further along the shore of the lake, and in 2008 the metal box washed up in front of his home. He had hoped that it would simply wash away again, but it never did, and as it was becoming an eyesore, he decided to decorate it. He owned a sign store, so made some large white vinyl circles and applied them to each side of the cube to make it look like a dice. After doing that, it stayed on his beach for another five years, but then during a storm the waters rose again and took it away, before depositing it in its new resting place on the Northwest Boulevard just down the street from the skate park. Number 1. Lego Bricks, Cornwall, UK The weather conditions in the Atlantic Ocean can be unpredictable at best, and on a stormy night in 1997, the container ship, the Tokyo Express, was struck with such force that it tipped 60 degrees one way and 40 degrees to the other. This resulted in 62 containers being lost overboard off the coast of Cornwall in the UK, one of which was destined for New York and contained nearly 4.8 million pieces of Lego. Strangely, most of the pieces were nautically themed, such as cutlasses, octopus, flippers, spear guns, and scuba gear, as well as random objects like daisies and dragons. With so many pieces of light plastic entering the water, they were easily picked up by the current and have been regularly deposited on nearby beaches ever since. In fact, to this day, it's almost impossible to walk along the entire beach along that stretch of the Cornish coastline without seeing at least one piece of Lego, with the daisies being by far the most common ones to be found. According to locals, the rarest discoveries are the octopus or the dragons, but it's not just in that part of the world that they can be found in. Researchers believe they've been in the water long enough to have potentially traveled around the world twice, meaning you could well find one of these Lego pieces no matter where you are on Earth. Watch our Waves playlist for more top 15 videos about massive waves. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best wave videos.